Okay, so now that we've got the uh, post uh, displaying, uh, let's add in a nav so we can choose which post we want to look at. Um, so in here in the index, I've got uh, two sections. I've got the, you know what? I'm just going to change this section from a section to just a nav. There's no sense in having a section, section, post, or whatever. So let's just go nav. Okay. Um, and then we'll come back here and let's create a selector. Um, so oh, it's picking up the old, uh, the old one. Uh, so we're just going to select the nav. Um, then I want to um, create a function. So the nav. Then I want to create a function to actually add that nav. So let's just go ahead and create that function. And we're going to pass the, the same um, JSON to it uh, for the data in order to go and grab the uh, titles. Uh, so function add nav data. And then what we want to do um, is loop through each element in that data array um, in order that we can um, get the, uh, the title um, and then assign an index and add an event list. And you can see again, Copilot's adding it all for us, but we'll, we'll go step by step. So data, um, so that's the name of our array that we're getting passed from the uh, fetch. Um, and then for each, um, and then, right, so this is going to loop through each element in the array. Um, and we, we know these elements are posts, so we can say for each post. Um, and then we've got an arrow function here um, so that we can uh, um, go and get each post and display it. So let's just do a quick console log post. Um, and then what we should see that that's there. And let me turn off this console log. We don't need it anymore. And now if we refresh, Oh, I don't know why there this array thing came from. Um, so, so it's just data. That's the name of our array. Um, and then here we go. So now we can see we've got um, the, uh, the data from each of those arrays. Um, okay, so then we want to um, create a, a link for each one. So we're going to create an anchor tag. Um, and then inside that an anchor tag uh, in inner HTML, we're going to put the post title um, uh, rendered, right? So we looked at that before, I think. Yeah, we did, right? So it's the same as here. Um, but obviously, we're going through each element in the array. So it's data 0, data 1, right? And we've given those names, re renamed them as just post. Right? Um, after that, we want to make sure it has an href, um, just a hash mark or a pound, so that we don't have to uh, worry about it. And then this next thing we want um, is because we want to get the index of the array or the po the index of the post, the in the array index of the post we want to display. So zero, one, two, three. We actually want to add um, an index here. So it should be a and then ID, and we're going to put index. But we also have to add it here. So it'll be um, we're passing in two parameters. So post and the index of that array. Um, so now this should give us zero and one. So let's just see if that works. Post is not defined on line 30. Oh, I think these need to be in parentheses. There we go. Oh, and we need to add them to the nav. So nav append child A. Now, hopefully it should work. There we go. So now you can see we've got um, th those two elements that have been added. And if we inspect those links, uh, we can see that 
They do indeed. Ah. Things are a bit messed up here. Uh, there we go. Uh, they do indeed have uh, an href of hash, and then they've got the different IDs for the posts. Um, so now that we've got them, uh, we need to be able to click on them and have them do something. So I'm going to um, create an, an event listener. And inside this event listener, um, what I want to do is first of all, event prevent default um, to make sure that it doesn't try and link to another page. I just want to do it to do something here. Um, and then I want to go and get that in the index number of the thing that I clicked on. So you can see event target ID. Um, so let's just console log event here first. And if I click on one of these links, here's the event. And then you can see um, one of the um, properties in the event is the target. Oh, there it is. Um, so target. And then one of the properties in target is ID. I know it seems like a lot of stuff in here, but uh, literally um, this is one of the, the, the most common things that you'll do when, when creating things like that. Okay, so now that we've got the ID, um, we can um, let index equal that event target ID. Right? Um, and then now we can come back up here and display the post, passing in the index of the post that we want to display. Right? So we're calling the same um, function as we called in the first one, but now we want it to have two parameters, the data, so the, the JSON, as well as the index. So right here, let's add that index, and then instead of hard coding the one or the zero, we're going to um, pass that, um, the index of the post in here, so zero, one, two, three, etc. But now that we've changed this, well, I'll just show you, this is gonna give us an error, or it should, yeah. Right, because it can't read properties of undefined um, in on line 19. Right, because it's looking for index, but we haven't defined it yet, All right? So here, um, right, we want to pass in index. So here, we need the index as well. And then here, we're actually going to pass in the one we want. So if we put zero, it's going to start with the first post. Um, and then as we click on things, it'll pass in the other posts. Let's see if that works. Yep, so there's our, our first post, right? Sanji's page. And if I click on my post, it loaded it. But down below, if I click on Sanji's post, you can see now it's loaded it down below. Let's go and get rid, it, rid of those so that it only displays the one. So we're just going to set the um, everything, or we're going to remove everything from that content section by setting the inner HTML to be empty. Now, if we redo it, right, you can see we've only we're only loading one post, and then we can go back and forth loading um, one post or the other, um, which is kind of interesting. Um, but you know now we've got our our headless you know setup a very simple uh, example of a headless uh, um, WordPress install. So let's look at what the advantage is. If I come back here to um, to uh, uh, WordPress, so this um, I'm acting as if this is the client, right? So the clients go, can log in. They can add a new post, third post. This so after creating the site, and let's put uh, let's throw an image in there. All 
All right, so another bird image. And I'm not 100% sure what kind of an image this, or what kind of a bird this is, but we could look it up later. Um, so um, birds can be... And so you can see here, I need to publish it. All right, so it's published. And so now if we go back to that headless WordPress, we can see that that third post is now the first one that appears. When, so we're um, in the default reverse chronological order. And then I can load the other th two posts just like that. So for a client, um, this is great, right? They can get a completely custom front end, so the the, the their site can look exactly the way the way they want. We don't have to worry about uh, themes, but they can use the um, WordPress uh, uh, dashboard or the 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 back end in order to change the content themselves, um, update text, update images, uh, etc. Um, so I hope this helps. Uh, it's uh, uh, you know an, an introduction to uh, headless WordPress. Um, I think this is uh, um, you know obviously a simple example, but one that should be able to get you started. Um, on our class page, um, uh, if you look under the uh, headless WordPress section. Um, then you'll see that uh, um, I've got uh, some references for you, um, and you know I've got the, a link to the API that shows um, what we get when we uh, call the WordPress API, um, and then there's the um, REST reference that has the endpoints. So we're mostly going to be using posts, but you might want to use categories or tags, possibly media, possibly users. Um, probably those will be the most popular ones that we'll, we'll use. Um, and then there's also the entire uh, REST API handbook. So um, it has the uh, all the resources and explains um, what everything what uh, everything is, um, and if if you want, you can go through it and learn more about it. Um, so I hope this helps and gets you uh, started with uh, your your headless WordPress.